New this morning, the Tropicana Resort in Vegas gone. The hotel and casino was demolished early this morning. Making way for that proposed A's ballpark. Ron Force Michael Thomas in the newsroom with that story. Michael? Good morning, everyone. A bittersweet moment for A's fans. The Las Vegas Tropicana Hotel implosion happened at around 2.30 this morning with the A's logo lighting up the sky as both hotel towers came down, making way for the team's new proposed stadium on the Las Vegas Strip. Take a look. Both towers of the 67-year-old hotel came down in about 22 seconds. Over 2,000 pounds of explosives were used. And before the implosion, a drone light show along with a fireworks show lit up the sky while Frank Sinatra and Take Me Out to the Ball Game played in the background. Las Vegas city officials along with state officials and the A's owner John Fisher were there. Fisher thanked both city and state officials along with um, the Valley Sports saying that he was excited for helping them with these proposals. He also gave an athletics jersey to the Valley Sports while saying, uh, again, he was excited. Now, these are renderings of what the new $1.5 billion ballpark is said to look like. It'll have up to 33,000 seats, and the hope is to have it done by 2028. Back in July, the team's executive said it would be financing about three parts, three different parts. Taxpayers of Nevada will pay for about $350 million. Another $300 million will be borrowed through debt financing, which is still being worked out, and the remaining $850 million will be paid by the athletics owner, John Fisher. This all comes about two weeks after the A's played their last game at the Oakland Coliseum, and until the Las Vegas Stadium is built, the A's will be playing at a minor league baseball park over in Sacramento. As we get more details on an official date of when ground will break for that new stadium, we'll We'll keep you updated. Brain, I'll send it back to you. All right, Michael, thank you for that update there.